good evening students today here we will discuss about chapter 1 of biology and the name of the chapter is life process okay so as you know that the whole world is consist of mainly two factors and they are biotic and abiotic factors so you can say that your biotic and abiotic factors together they, they they make the whole world okay and biotic factors consist of living beings so living beings are also called the organism so what you can say that the world it is consist of biotic and abiotic factors okay and biotic factors consist of living beings and living beings are living beings are called the organism okay there are some basic processes okay which are essential for an organism to stay healthy and to maintain proper functioning of the body organ system so we can say that what is life process we should know about the life process what is life process life process these are the all biological process which are performed by the living beings to sustain themselves are called the life process okay so what you can say that the all biological process biological processes okay which are performed by living beings which are performed to sustain themselves process okay so students as you know that for maintenance of life energy is required okay and to get energy we need food and this takes place by a process that is known as the nutrition what is that known that is known as the nutrition and for growth raw material is required from the outside so as we know that life on earth is dependent on carbon based molecule hai na and most of the food is carbon based so what we can say that that the for the maintenance of life energy is required okay for maintenance of life energy is required and theek hai to get this energy we need food and this takes place by a process that is called as nutrition nutrition and for nutrition for growth raw materials is required from outside okay so as we know that life on earth is dependent on carbon based molecule and most of the food is carbon based but we can say that most of the food is carbon based okay 
so food is broken down in the body and converted into uniform sources of energy and this energy is used for why is this energy used this energy is used for the growth hai and movement of various molecules in body okay by the breaking down of food we get energy and this energy is used for firstly it is used for the movement of various molecules various molecules in our body okay and acquiring the kind of molecules the body needs to grow acquiring the kind of molecules okay the body needs to grow and do you know students that uh, for breaking down of food respiration is required what is required respiration is required food respiration is required okay so no specific uh, and students keep it in your mind that no specific organ is required in unicellular organism okay as they are consist of only single cell and for ingestion of food gaseous exchange or removal of waste so no extra you yeah, know a specific organ is required okay so we can say that no specific organ is required okay in unicellular organisms for ingestion of food gaseous exchange or removal of waste So in class ninth, you have learned to that simple diffusion fails to work in multicellular organism. Okay, because cells may not be in direct contact with one another. So we can say that different body parts perform different functions in multicellular organism. They take part in intake of food and oxygen also. They are taken to one part, but these are required all over the body. For this, an effective transportation system is required okay and many harmful waste products may be formed during chemical reactions using carbon sources and living beings so they need to be removed okay from our body you know so from so excretion is required for that so we can say that these all processes are essential for our body and they are collectively called the life processes so you can say that that life processes consist take it life processes means what are the important activities that are performed by the living beings for their survival they are the first one is nutrition okay nutrition is required okay second one you can say that is respiration and transport of materials transport of materials okay next one is reproduction fair blood circulation and 
stress okay and excretion so these are the main processes that are in life processes collectively okay means these processes are performed these activities are performed by an organism okay for sustaining their life and they collectively they are known as the life processes so firstly here we will be discussing discussing about the nutrition what is the first point to be discussed that is nutrition you all are aware with this process so what is nutrition you know so students you know that each organism needs food to ठीक है needs food to survive and food is an inorganic substance okay and glucose is the simplest form of food so what is nutrition this is the intake of food है ना and its digestion absorption and distribution to different parts of plants and animals it is known as nutrition so you can say that nutrition is the intake of food the intake of food okay its digestion absorption and distribution digestion absorption and distribution to different parts of plants and animals न्यूट्रिएंट इज एन ऑर्गेनिक और इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ लाइफ एंड सर्वाइवल ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके फॉर गेटिंग न्यूट्रिशन वी नीड द न्यूट्रिएंट आल्सो सो व्हाट इज द न्यूट्रिएंट इट इज एन मींस इट कैन बी ऑर्गेनिक और इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस इट इज एन ऑर्गेनिक or in organic substance ठीक है which is required for maintenance of life required for maintenance of life है ना and survival of an organism ठीक है सो वट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फूड स्टॉप्स और न्यूट्रिय यू हैव स्टडीड बिफोर ठीक है यू नो अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिय इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस they are the energy giving foods what are the energy giving foods foods carbohydrates and fats okay carbohydrates and second one are fats okay number second are they are the body building foods okay in body building foods there are proteins and number third they are the protective foods so vitamins and minerals come under the category of protective foods theek okay? hai so the question rises here how the organism obtain their food theek okay? hai how do the organisms obtain their food theek okay? 
this is the question so there are two types of modes of nutrition on the basis of their taking nutrition they are the autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition okay what are the two types of nutrition types of nutrition autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition so what is autotropic nutrition auto means self autotropic nutrition So it is the type of nutrition in which organisms can make its food with the help of photosynthesis you know, with the help of activity of photosynthesis okay? as they possess chlorophyll in them. Okay? What is autotropic nutrition? It is the type of nutrition in which it is the type of nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis ticket And how can they perform the process of photosynthesis because they possess as they possess chlorophyll in them chlorophyll in them okay so what are the examples of autotrophs or you can say what are the examples of autotropic nutrition and right? so for example you can say all green plants all green plants okay and uh, you can say certain protist okay and photosynthetic bacteria also photosynthetic bacteria so these are the examples that can perform the autotropic nutrition by themselves okay so are you aware now what is the meaning of autotropic nutrition okay now the next is so photosynthesis to you all are aware you know, what is photosynthesis and the second type of nutrition that is heterotropic nutrition and in this kind of nutrition the organism can make their food okay as they do not possess chlorophyll in them you know, and they are dependent on other organism for their food requirement okay what is heterotropic nutrition heterotropic nutrition heterotropic or nutrition okay so it is the mode of nutrition yeah you can say in this mode of nutrition in this mode of nutrition the organism can't make their food can't make their own food by using by using CO2 and water and they are dependent on a 
other organisms for their food requirement. So students, I hope that you have understood up to this part hai na? and tomorrow we will be discussing about the nutrition okay, in the plants. Okay, thank you.